President, LFNE, Mr. Stephen Umwega. Uh, first of all, 15 minutes outside here seems to be very little time. Absolutely. But it's I think you are not new to MMA. You know 15 minutes in there is never it's, easy. It's crazy. It's crazy, I'm telling you. Uh, first off, before I could say anything, I'd like to appreciate the fans. Thanks for coming today. And uh, MMA is quite tight. There are quite some controversies. And I think uh, when there are controversies, that's when you get to learn. Because this is a new sport in the country. We are trying to introduce MMA. There are serious fans here. We have a group called Knockout. So yeah. these guys know the rules. That's why you've seen them shouting and here and there. But uh, some of our local coaches and referees, they're still learning in the, in the process. So the more the controversies, the more we keep learning day in, day out. People are watching in South Africa. I think before the show, you told me that even the Ugandans are following on LFNE to just see uh, some of the fighters that they can maybe prepare to come and challenge. Let's talk about what you planned. Did everything work? Well, uh, I can say uh, as per the outcome and the show, the expectations were met. Uh, and probably we went beyond the expectations. The game has been okay. The fans uh, have interacted with the game. They were quite happy. And talking of the Ugandans, the Ugandans came to Kenya and they took our belt with, with them. So the Ugandans are good. The only team that uh, they're afraid of, frankly speaking, is the ultra fitness team. They are very good. And uh, of course, South Africans, we have one of our fighters called Paris Gitega. She made our MMA debut in LFN1. She was with us up to LFN4. Then after that, she was uh, uh, recruited to go uh, to EFC. And we have one of our guys, Mr. William Odino. He's participating in the scaffold search. So uh, around November 5th, he's uh, headed to uh, Mauritius the, in the Professional Fight League, our first guy to sign into the Professional Fight League. Mr. Very tremendous Mr. Omega, I think um, you have actually you have preempted what I was about to ask you about the success story of LFNE. I think it started as a dream, LFNE 1. Now we are in Absolutely. LFNE 7. Seven yeah. And hopefully we can get a better and bigger LFNE 8. How does it feel that finally the dream is paying off? And even is, I've seen the fighters, they're appreciating your work. Well, uh, I can say so far there isn't much feeling because we are not yet there. And, and the progress has been good. We started with LF anyone with a few guys in, we were fighting in the mats, but now we have a cage here. Yeah. Well, the progress has been quite uh, amazing and uh, it's awesome. So as we continue moving forward, we need some of the guys to come on board. I really appreciate the Mohan's Oster Bay uh, drinks. They brought in the Bavaria brand and Powerhouse. They have really supported us and they're here today. The CEO was around here, but I think he's just left. So once we get some of these guys coming on board, like uh, the sponsorships and stuff, we are going to, to take our game a notch higher. And that is where we are looking at. So the progress so far, it's awesome. I, have, I, I had news that certain professional, a professional promoter, a professional outfit is planning a fight uh, in Kenya and they are reaching out to LFNE. Just here says, but you can confirm. Absolutely. Uh, we are having a, a, a UFC Hall of Famer, Gary Goodridge, uh, jetting in on Sunday. He will be here on Sunday. He's coming at 8 p.m. So LFNE uh, reached out and uh, he's planning an event called African Fighting Championship. It's going to be launched in Kenya. So on Sunday we are bringing him on board. So we want to see where we can go and how it can progress. Gary Goodrich was an animal in the cage. He was a serious knockout guy and it's uh, spanning out to be well. That's number one. The other one is uh, Scaffold Search who have actually been pushing for us and they are rooting to come in. They have taken already signed William Odino. Odino is going to be pro very soon. Of course, they have introduced him to the Professional Fight League. And sometime in uh, April next year, we are planning to bring the Professional Fight League to come to Kenya. Tremendous uh, like steps, like small steps every single day. Omwege, you're not new to Kenyans. You're not new to human beings. Pressure will come. Absolutely. And, uh, we, are a and we are in LFN E7. So, of course, in LFN E8, they will be expecting something new. Well, uh, Every single LFNE series that we put up, there is an improvement from the previous one. We need to work on our officiating. That's where the main problem is. We need to work on our fighters. We need to work on the groundwork. We need to, like, we need some professional coaches to come on board and come and guide us on what we really need to do. So definitely the progress is quite good and we are progressing well. Any thoughts on uh, LFNE 8, maybe the venue, some of the things that we should expect? Well, uh, it's too early to... Well, at the moment, I know that we do the postmortem of 11 7. My head is all over. I cannot give you anything, but expect nothing but uh, fireworks in the coming 11 8.
I think it's good to, to I, yes. I, it's good when it comes to you. I think talk to the audience and uh, send them to be the ambassadors of LFE and mixed martial art in the country. Well, uh, <laughs> that's a tricky one, but of course uh, we will continue doing what we do, what we do best, and we will engage anybody who is willing to support us as we move forward. So I'd like to shout out to, of course, the Ultra Fitness Gym. I'd like to shout out to uh, the fans. I'd like to shout out to Mugambi and the families here, the father, the mother, all these guys for, all the way from Meru that have really been supporting us. Yeah. That's the kind of support that we want. It's very much, uh, we appreciate it. We have some friends on board here. We have Liz, we have Kev, and the, our friends, all our friends here, like, helping us every day, yeah? So it's an awesome event. Phyllis, I see you. So thank you very much. And the rest of the guys, KU team, my I, I, what do you, I'm not a fighter, so, <laughs> New York City, so everything is awesome, awesome, awesome. Now you can see for yourself. Asante sana Omwega. Thank you. I look forward to more interaction with you. Yeah. Nikipata Shida Mahali, so you can come in and throw I'll a beat few you punches. up, yes. Not me, but. Oh.